Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Lexus vehicles often earn praise for their dependability. They're known for lasting a long time, and many owners trust them for their reliability. Yet, even the most reliable brands can have specific issues or common misunderstandings associated with them. This video will clarify some points often brought up by Lexus owners and enthusiasts. We'll look into the idea of Lexus VTEC, explaining why that's a common mix-up. We'll also discuss real concerns some Lexus hybrid battery packs face. Dispelling the Lexus VTEC myth. Understanding VTEC versus VVTI. Many people use the terms VTEC and VVTI interchangeably, or they might even believe Lexus vehicles come with VTEC. Let's clear up this common confusion. These are both variable valve timing systems, but they come from different manufacturers and work in distinct ways. Understanding the differences will help you appreciate the specific engineering behind each brand. What is VTEC? Honda Technology. VTEC, which stands for Variable Timing and Lift Electronic Control, is a valve timing system developed by Honda. Its main goal is to improve both engine power and fuel efficiency throughout the entire RPM range. Here is how VTEC generally works. Dual cam profiles. VTEC engines use two different camshaft profiles for their valves, a mild one for low RPMs and an aggressive one for high RPMs. Engagement mechanism. At lower engine speeds, the mild cam profile operates the valves. When the engine reaches a specific RPM, a hydraulic mechanism locks pins that connect the mild and aggressive rocker arms. This effectively switches the engine to the more aggressive cam profile. Benefits This switch provides a noticeable boost in power and a different engine note at higher RPMs. It allows Honda engines to deliver a good balance of everyday drivability and exciting performance. What is VVTI? Lexus, Toyota Technology. VVTI stands for Variable Valve Timing with Intelligence. This is Toyota's, and therefore Lexus's, own approach to variable valve timing. Unlike VTEC, VVTI primarily focuses on continuously adjusting the intake valve timing. Here are some key aspects of VVTI. Continuous adjustment. VVTI uses an oil pressure controlled mechanism to advance or retard the timing of the intake camshaft. This adjustment happens continuously based on various engine parameters like engine speed, load, and throttle position. Focus on timing, not lift. The crucial difference from VTEC is that VVTI mostly adjusts the timing of the valve opening and closing, not the lift or duration of the valve opening. This optimizes the overlap between intake and exhaust valves. Benefits The system helps improve torque across the RPM range, enhance fuel economy, and reduce emissions. It contributes to the smooth and refined power delivery that Lexus vehicles are known for. Common misconceptions and why they persist. It is easy to see why some people might mistakenly link VTEC with Lexus. Both are well-known variable valve timing technologies. Many car enthusiasts know that Honda uses VTEC and Toyota, Lexus uses VVTI. However, someone who is less familiar with specific engine technologies might generalize variable valve timing, to mean, VTEC. The presence of variable valve timing is now common in many modern engines across different brands. This widespread use can lead to confusion. People hear about power boosts or improved efficiency from these systems and might default to the most famous name they know, which for many is VTEC. While Honda certainly popularized the concept and made it a household name, remember that VTEC is exclusive to Honda engines. Lexus vehicles, being part of the Toyota family, rely on their own effective VVTI system. Understanding Lexus hybrid battery technology and potential issues. While the VTEC and Lexus connection is a misunderstanding, a more relevant point of discussion for Lexus owners centers on their hybrid battery systems. Lexus has been a frontrunner in hybrid technology for decades, building a reputation for efficiency and smooth performance. However, like any complex component, Hybrid batteries have a finite lifespan and can develop issues over time. Let's look at how these systems work and what to watch out for. How Lexus Hybrid Systems Work 
Lexus hybrid vehicles use what's called hybrid synergy drive. This innovative system seamlessly blends power from a gasoline engine and electric motors. Think of it like a conductor directing an orchestra, making sure each instrument plays its part at the right time. The hybrid battery is a central player in this system. Here's a simplified breakdown. Power source integration. The battery stores electrical energy. This energy powers electric motors, which can move the car independently at low speeds, assist the gasoline engine during acceleration, or even provide all the power in certain driving conditions. Regenerative braking. When you slow down or hit the brakes, the electric motors act as generators. They capture kinetic energy normally lost as heat and convert it into electricity, which then recharges the hybrid battery. This is a key reason hybrids are so efficient. Engine and motor harmony. The system continuously decides the best combination of gasoline and electric power. This optimizes fuel economy and performance. For example, at highway speeds, the gasoline engine often does most of the work, with the electric motors providing assistance. In stop-and-go traffic, the system might rely more on electric power. Signs of a failing Lexus hybrid battery. A healthy hybrid battery is key to your Lexus's performance. When it starts to degrade, your car will usually give you clear warnings. Recognizing these indicators early can help you address the problem before it worsens. Here are some common signs that your Lexus hybrid battery might be failing. Decreased fuel economy. This is often one of the first and most noticeable signs. If your typical miles per gallon have dropped significantly without a change in driving habits, the battery might not be holding a charge as effectively. Warning lights on the dashboard. Your car's computer constantly monitors the hybrid system. If it detects a problem, you might see warning lights like the check hybrid system or a general check engine light illuminate. Reduced power or acceleration. The electric motors provide a crucial boost to the gasoline engine. If the battery is weak, you might notice your car feels sluggish, especially when accelerating or going uphill. Frequent engine cycling. A healthy hybrid system keeps the gasoline engine off more often, especially at idle or low speeds. If your engine is constantly turning on and off, even when it shouldn't, the battery might not be able to power the car alone as effectively. Fan runs constantly. The hybrid battery has a cooling fan system to prevent overheating. If this fan is running much more often or louder than usual, it could mean the battery is working harder to maintain its temperature, suggesting internal issues. Factors affecting hybrid battery lifespan. Hybrid batteries are designed to last a long time, often more than 100,000 miles. However, several factors can influence how long your Lexus hybrid battery will remain in top condition. Understanding these can help you potentially extend its life. Key contributors to battery degradation include Extreme temperatures Batteries, in general, dislike extreme heat or cold. Consistently driving or storing your hybrid in very hot climates can accelerate degradation. Likewise, extremely cold temperatures can reduce battery efficiency and capacity over time. Driving habits Aggressive driving, with frequent hard accelerations and sudden braking, puts more stress on the battery. Gentle driving, which allows for more regenerative braking and smoother power delivery, can be kinder to the battery. Mileage and age Simply put, the more miles on your car and the older the battery gets, the more cycling it has gone through. Over many charge and discharge cycles, even well-maintained batteries will naturally lose some capacity. Maintenance while hybrid batteries are largely sealed units, ensuring the battery cooling system is clean and clear of obstructions is important. Blocked air vents can lead to overheating, which as mentioned, is detrimental. That's the truth behind the VTEC myth. Stay tuned for part 2. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.